Uh, the new topic is how to calculate PID controller. How to calculate PID controller. So uh, let us um, implement a very basic uh, structure of a PID calculation. So in here we have a subtraction, a set value, and a process value. And the result is ER error signal. Uh, the output of error signal is fed to the mm, block that is called uh, a mm, gain block. Uh, it's somehow a multiplication. And uh, the output of the mm, gain, error multiplied by gain, and the output of this block is uh, is used to do the rest of calculation. So we have a possibly a summation here and we add the several part of the uh, several part of the output of each block we add output of each block and uh, form the overall PID output so uh, let us just uh, bring the uh, error multiplied by gain and apply it here by the integral block. This is the integral block. And uh, somehow uh, similar to the integration, normally uh, Riemann uh, integral algorithm and the the last part will be a differentiator a diff block so for a diff block I just add it here the diff block is somehow uh, the characteristic of a diff block is somehow like uh, a casual uh, differentiator differentiator like this and we add it into the uh, overall mm, a sketch so uh, this is integrator 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 and this is uh, diff d i f f so uh, we need to add another parameter that is uh, disturbance disturbance is multiplied by a compensation block uh, I just uh, um, consider the compensation block to be an, uh, a number disturbance is multiplied by this compensation block and uh, this is also added to the overall uh, sandwich uh, the output, the total output of the block mm, is uh, the control value or manipulated value. So we call it uh, control value or manipulated value. Uh, let me use it. Control value here. So uh, this is the overall uh, overall uh, structure of how a PID controller is calculated. So if we have uh, Y1 here, if we have Y1 as uh, the value here, uh, the value of Y2 and Y3 can be calculated. The value of Y1 is y1 is a gain multiplied by set value minus process value uh, the 
this is also y1 here, the value of y2 in uh, uh, Laplace domain is y1 in Laplace domain multiplied by 1 ts. This is the integration part and y3 uh, I guess yes y3 in Laplace domain is y1 multiply td s uh, 1 plus tmlag multiplied by s so uh, this is the casual differentiator not the casual differentiator mm, transfer function and uh, the compensation and disturbance is somehow uh, 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 we will discuss it uh, separately in future so this is the structure of a, a PID controller normally the control value is uh, when we calculate the control value the control value is fed to the a limiter block so we have a, a, in the final uh, step the control value normally is uh, fed into a limiter block like a heart limiter and here we limit the output to the to to maximum values and the minimum value the max is uh, LMN high and LMN low as as an initial value the, uh, the minimum value uh, would be zero and the maximum value would, would be uh, 100 uh, this will be a, a starting point for how the PID controller is calculated in order to yeah, in order to calculate each of uh, each of these uh, blocks we need to know a bit of numeric analysis they can be done easily by using numeric tools and uh, we will discuss them how to implement uh, these uh, blocks in uh, future so now I stop the video here and we will discuss each part in the next uh, PID tutorials thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe um, share this video and write some comments about this topic.